Hi, today I will show you how to install a Radiant Floating License. This process will be done using Windows, but this can also be done using a Linux machine. First, I will explain what a floating license is. A floating license is a type of license which is installed on a license server to share its features among a number of users. Unlike a node doc license, which can only be used on a single machine, a floating license can be used by multiple machines connected on the same network. A floating license can contain multiple license seats. License seats determine the number of simultaneous tool uses. Each time a tool is run, it checks out a license. If a floating license has only one seat, then only one tool can access the license at a time. But if the license, for example, has four seats, then four tools can access the license at the same time. Now let's get started with the tutorial. In this section, we will discuss how to edit the license file to specify the server name and daemon paths, how to set up the environment variable, how to start and stop the server, and how to check the server status. Once you have downloaded the FlexNet license package from our website, place the items in one folder. For this video, we will call the folder FlexNet, but you can name it with anything you like. Now move the folder to any location you prefer. After moving the files, open your license. Inside, you will see the number of seats your license contains. In the license, you will see the text called node name. We need to replace the node name text to the host name of the machine. Open your command prompt and run it as administrator. Type the command host name. Copy your host name and replace the node name text in the license file. Inside the license, you will also see the ports used by the license server manager. After placing the host name, we will need to replace the daemon path text to the path of the lattice.exe. Locate the lattice.exe and copy its path. Then replace the daemon path to the path of the lattice.exe. Now we need to replace the path to mgcld text to the path of the mgcld.exe. Then save your license file. In the folder where we placed our files, we need to create a log file. Create a text document called license.txt. We need this later when setting up our license server. Next, we need to set our lm license file environment variable to point to the path of the license. Type the command set x space forward slash m space lm underscore license underscore file space quotation mark port number in this case 7788 at the name of your server and close quotation mark please note that environment variables may be set differently depending on different linux shell environments and windows after you have set the lm license file successfully we need to set up the license server to set up the license, type the path of the lmgrd-l, then the path of license.txt we created earlier, dash c, then the path of the license. Once you have typed the following, the license server should have started. To check the status of the license, type the path of the lmutil space lmstat space dash a space dash c, then the number of port at the name of the server in the license file. If it's successful, you will see the status of your license server. To stop the license server, type the path of the lmutil again, then space lm down space dash c, then the path of the license. You will be asked if you want to continue. If yes, then type the letter y and the license server will be shut down. Now in this section, let's see how a client machine can access the server license. To access the license server on a client machine, open your command prompt or terminal for Windows, run it as administrator. Type the command set x space forward slash m space lm underscore license underscore file space quotation mark 
the number of port at the name of the server, close quotation mark. Please note that setting the environment variables may be different depending on different Linux shell environments and windows. After you have set the LM license file, you have successfully connected to the license server and you can now access Lattice Radiant. Thank you for watching.